Hello. So last night I um sorry, I don't know that one. I didn't even say her name. That's my echo. Anyway, last night I went um live on YouTube. I did the research, I downloaded an app. Um and I it seemed to be working. It said it was recording me just like this does and um I uploaded it and it still is giving me issues. So I I did record a secondary video like a couple hours later, but I just felt like I really wanted the original, the authentic one to be there. So I'm I have it saved on my computer, but it's in this weird format. So I'm trying to figure out um how to convert it and then I'll upload that so that you can get the original live one. Um from yesterday. So, yeah, I'm looking into it and oh my god, oh, here come the yawns again. Um, I'll be gone this, or I'll be gone tomorrow night out of town, out of service. So, um, so I'll, hopefully I'll get that figured out before then. But anyway, um, so yeah. I don't really know what I want to talk about tonight. I think that, um, I've been thinking a lot about like, um, kind of just trust in the process. And when I think of, it's like, I went, I used to be, um, so when I worked in higher education, I worked in higher ed for 10 years. I did a lot of leadership development and, um, at one point I was selected to be, um, a cluster facilitator for the Leadership Institute. Um, and Leadership is a really amazing program for uh, college students. I highly recommend it if you have the opportunity to apply and to be involved. And I had the opportunity to um, be a cluster facilitator for that. And um, I remember one of the things was, you know, that we were teaching students was to T the P, which was trust the process. And it's just so funny because, um, as an adult, it's like, it's like trust the process of life. I feel like has become like my new mantra, like trust the process of life. It's going to throw you curveballs. It's going to appear in ways that you don't want it to. And, um, you could sit there and gripe about it and complain and be scared of it and be anxious of it, or you can grab the bull by the proverbial horns, which I guess is kind of like, I guess if I'm exploring that, I don't really, unfortunately, we're not all created equal with the same opportunities. It's kind of like the, the old adage, like pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Well, unfortunately, not everyone has bootstraps and not everyone has boots. And so I don't actually agree with that. Um, I know for me, I can talk about me personally and I can say that I'm working on, I'm working on trusting the process, trusting that like I will find my life's purpose. Um, I feel like I'm finding it already. I'm already in that, in that process. And I'm also trusting that like, I, I'm not out, I'm not in it to find it like as an, as like an end goal. Um, I feel like I'm sort of, you know, it's about the journey and it's about the path and, um, I'm enjoying the path. I'm really loving it. Um, I was just Facebook messaging an old colleague, um, of mine last night and, or yesterday. And, uh, you know, she's like, what are you up to? How are you? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm fantastic. I'm just, I love, I was like, I'm, I'm starting a new career, not, not a new career, but I'm taking my life coaching to full time. And I love empowering people and inspiring people, especially women. Um, because that's how I identify, and I just really am loving life and my new journey, my new direction. And she was like, 
I don't know what she said, but how I interpreted it was something like, you know, wow, you're so, like, I can see your smile through Facebook Messenger, you know? And it's how I feel. I mean, right now I'm tired, it's late, and um, I'm doing this video before I have to get up early, and um, I'm going to go stain someone's deck to earn some extra cash. Um, and I just, I love what I'm doing, and I love my path, and all these experiences that I have right now are contributing to that and making me super happy. And I think it's because of, I'm not sure I would have felt that way like five, ten years ago. I'm not sure that I would have felt that my current position would be something that I would be loving and enjoying. Um, because I have, I don't have financial stability. Um, I don't have, you know, I, I, I wanted to be, I, I always envision myself as a mom, um, you know, having a family and I'm not, I don't know what's my future anymore because my life has um, dramatically changed in the last year. So, so I'm, I, but I'm just living it day to day and I'm enjoying life exactly as it's handed to me and, um, trusting the process, you know, trusting that, that life process life throws at us. You know, if you're a religious person, you could say that you're only thrown what God thinks that you can handle. I feel like we're all connected as human beings and, um, we're thrown however we want to perceive what we're thrown at us. It didn't sound right, but I think you know what I mean. You know, we're, it's just like, it is what it is. <laughs> Sometimes I laugh because I feel like that's a little bit of my, my, a little bit my mantra. Like it is what it is. Um, and sometimes I notice that it almost feels like I'm just like giving up. Like, well, it is what it is. But it's just, it's an acceptance of what's thrown at me. You know, I mean, the last like three, four years have been kind of crazy. And I don't even like talking about them because when I describe them to people, they, they put this pressure on me to define them in a certain way. Or, um, another way to say that is they have a reaction that to those experiences that I don't have. Um, and I don't think it's because I'm unfeeling or insensitive or not affected. I just think that I, I see life in a positive way and it's not, I haven't always, that's not how I've always been. I think I do have a natural tendency towards that. But I think a lot of it is just, is, has been learned. I've learned how to, you know, view an experience as a part of my process in learning, as part of my, a part of my journey. And so it doesn't hit me like how other people tell me that it should or how I've been socialized um, to learn that it it should affect me. And I remember that came to fruition when I was in college. Um, my my first kind of real true love was in college. His name is Kevin. And um, he also was my best friend and he taught me a lot about what I'd been sort of hiding. And he taught me a lot about you know, like that it was okay to feel that I, the way that I was feeling. Um, and I, I forever thank him for that. I, I don't even know if he knows that, but I really, he changed my life and, um, he really helped me understand that like, we all have shit we're going through and we can decide how we want to go through that, you know, regardless of what people say, you know, when, when someone dies, people, the natural response is, oh, I'm so sorry, and there's this feeling of terribleness or, or, or sympathy or empathy or whatever. There's negative down feelings. Same with divorce. Oh, my gosh. Like, I, when I told people I was getting divorced, it's like the reactions are almost unbearable, especially if you're in a place where both of you want it and both of you are happier with it. It's, it's just, it's kind of a mind fuck. <laughs> you 
Anyway, that's a whole other topic for another day, and I'm already at 10 minutes, so I'm going to cut this off, but, um, but trust the process. Trust the process of life. Um, yeah. Even tonight, I seriously was just going to bed, and then I was like, shit, I didn't do my video, <laughs> and I made this commitment, and I really want to stick to it. So I turned all the lights back on, and I'm down here, <laughs> my hair looking crazy, and I feel like this is one of my better videos. <laughs> And maybe it's not to you, but it feels that way to me. And so that's really all that matters. I don't have to live with you. I have to live with me the rest of my life. And maybe that sounds narcissistic, but you can feel that way if you want. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So good night, and thanks for watching. And um, I'll talk to you tomorrow.